Hello people, this is Kerry Anderson. Hope you all doing well. In today's video, I'll be talking about our apple good for diabetes. So if you like the video related to my health, my way, I would like to request you all. Please do subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon and give thumbs up so that I will come up with more and more videos with lots and lots of information. So here we begin. Let's go. Apples are a nutritious snack, but are the sugar and carbohydrate in an apple good or bad for blood sugar and insulin level if a person has diabetes. According to the American Diabetes Association, although they contain sugar and carbohydrate, eating apple and other food is not a problem for a person with either type 1 diabetes or type 2 diabetes. Apples contain a different kind of sugar to food with added sugar and they also contain fiber and nutrient. A person with diabetes should be aware of how apple affect them in order to include this fruit in a diabetes healthy diet. In this video, we look at how consuming apple and other fruit might affect people with diabetes. Are apple good for people with diabetes? People with diabetes must watch their carbohydrate intake to make sure their blood sugar level stays stable throughout the day. It makes sense then to monitor any food that contain carb and sugar. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, there are about 25 grams of carb in total in a medium-sized apple and around 19 grams of wool. That is sugar. Most of the sugar in an apple is in the form of naturally occurring fructose, however, and this may have a different effect on the body than other sugars. Fructose is different to the refined and processed sugar that occurs in packaged food, such as chocolates and biscuits. A review posted to the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2017 found that replacing glucose or sucrose with fructose led to less sugar and insulin in the bloodstream after a meal. The USDA report that a medium apple contains around 4 grams of dietary fiber and this fiber may help slow the absorption of sugars in the body, which could help prevent spikes in sugar and insulin. In addition, pairing fruits with a healthy fat or protein can also lower the spike in blood sugar and leave a person feel full for longer. Apples and the glycemic index. The glycemic index compares food according to the likelihood of them causing blood sugar spikes. Foods score between 0 to 100 with water having the lowest and glucose the highest score. The body absorbs carbohydrate and sugar quickly from food with a high glycemic index score such as candies. The carb from food with a low glycemic index score enter the bloodstream more slowly and so there is a lower risk of a blood sugar spike. Cornflakes for example score around 81 on the glycemic index depending on the brand and type. This is a high score, apple score around 36, this is a low score. Altogether, apple may have relatively low impact on the insulin and blood sugar level in the body. This makes them a suitable fruit for people with diabetes in moderation. Apple and counting carb. In the past, some doctors advised people to count their carb as a way of managing blood sugar level. However, current guidelines for diabetes management focus on individual needs and no longer recommend any specific carb intake. It is still essential for someone to monitor any changes they have after eating an apple so they know what to expect in their body, what and when they do so. A person with diabetes needs to test their blood sugar level regularly. A doctor will advise on how often and what target a person should aim for, as it will depend on the individual benefits and nutrition. Many people love applies for their simplicity, but they are also very nutritious. One medium apple weighing around 182 gram contains around water, which is uh, 155.72 gram energy, 95 calories, protein, 0.47 gram fat, 0.31 gram carbohydrate, 21.13 gram including 18.91 gram of sugar, fiber 4.4 gram, calcium 11.8 Zero zero milligram, iron zero point twenty two milligram, magnesium nine point zero zero milligram, phosphorus twenty milligram, potassium one ninety five milligram, sodium two milligram, zinc zero point zero seven milligram, vitamin C eight point four milligram, vitamins A, E, and K, various B vitamins, including five micrograms. Of folate. The dietary guidelines for Americans 2015 to 2020 recommend that adults consume 22.4 to 30.8 gram of fiber a day. 
Depending on age and sex, a person can feel full after eating an apple due to the, to the combination of fiber, water, and nutrient. Vitamin A and C are antioxidant. This may help reduce inflammation. Specific flavonoids such as quercetin are present in apple. These may help improve uh, blood glucose level. A review from uh, 2011 found a link between eating apple and a lower risk of diabetes. All these factors make apple a good choice as a quick snack between meals. Eating a varied diet rich in vegetable and fruit, including apple, is good for everyone, but maybe even more important for a person with diabetes or prediabetes when there is a high risk for the disorder. Diabetes and other fruit. A diet rich in vegetable and fruit is beneficial for everyone, and certain fruit provide more benefit than others, particularly for a person with a chronic health condition. Eating fruit in their Whole raw from uh, provides the most benefit because processing fruit can reduce the fiber, antioxidant, and other nutritional content. Berries and cherries. Berries have lower level of sugar than some other fruits. They are naturally high in antioxidant flavonoid and nutrient which help boost the body immune system and overall health. Like apple, cherries contain quercetin, which may be beneficial for a person with diabetes. Rich colored berries may make for helpful choices, including strawberries, raspberries, and blackberries, grapes, and currants. Blueberries, cranberries, tart cherries. It is possible to buy cherries fresh or frozen. Dried version may be less filling but are also a healthy option. However, anyone with diabetes should check the label for added sugar as this is not always obvious. Other fruits, a person with diabetes can eat any fruit in moderation as long as they do not have an allergy. The American Diabetes Association recommends the following fruit for People with diabetes based on their glycemic index score, avocado, banana, mango, papaya, kiwi, pineapple, cantaloupe, watermelon, and honeydew melons. Citrus fruits such as grapefruit, oranges, and tangerines. Stone fruits including apricots, plums, and peaches. So that's all about the diabetes in this video. I hope you all liked it. So before proceeding further, I would like to request you all, please do like, share, subscribe this video with a loved one so that they will get to know better. So this is Gary Anderson. We will definitely meet in the next video with my other content. Till then, God bless you. Bye-bye and take care.